so in this video i'll show you how to structure you in this form using html5 and in the next video i'll show you how to style this form using css3 only so let's go ahead into our text editor and start structuring this form okay so let me jump into my text editor here and this is the final project so i gonna collapse this here and jump into my index.html file which is a simple template file html template file which has uh, which has a header a footer and also a title direct below the header element i gonna create a main element so i write main and inside this main element i gonna create an article element so i write article and close this and give it an id of form container okay and you may ask why i use article element here because according to html5 when a content needs to be syndicated to somewhere else you can use article element and you can also include forms um, in an article tag or element so that's why i used article element here so first of all i gonna create a heading element here so i'll write welcome to smash this okay and let's create an element which is form so i'll write form and now inside this form i'm going to create a paragraph element which will contain our first facebook login button so i'll write a give it an attribute of href and another attribute will assign it is title and give it a title of login with facebook and let's go ahead and apply it a class of social button social hyphen button and give it an another class to it which is fb hyphen btn btn okay and close this cut and close this element and let's assign a text which is login with facebook okay now let's go ahead and duplicate this paragraph and just change this text over here to google and again we're gonna change this fb B, fb hyphen btn to gp hyphen btn okay and also change this facebook text to google okay all right now let's go ahead and create a divider or separator for our login social media login buttons and two input fields which are password and email so email and password so let's go ahead and create a div element here give it a class of or divider and here we create or text okay so we're gonna style this using css3 so you don't have to worry for that right now let's go ahead and create our two input fields here first of all i gonna create input field for our email so i'll write input give it a type of email and let's give it a placeholder text of email okay and give it a name of email and close this and create a line break let's duplicate this email field and change this type to password and placeholder text to password and let's change its name to pwd pwd for password okay let's create another an input element this time we're gonna create a button which is sign in button so i'll write input give it a type of submit okay submit and assign it a value of sign in which will display it over our button okay now we have created our input fields too now it's turn to create two links first link is for forget password and second link is for 
create an account so let's do that so I gonna create a div element so I write div give it an ID of recover hyphen new hyphen account okay and inside this div I gonna create our first el uh, anchor element which is a href and give it an attribute href of pound and let's call it forget password and for the second one we're gonna duplicate this anchor element here and let's change this anchor text to something like create an account okay let's create a separator for this separator I'm gonna create a span element here so I'll span and inside this span I'm gonna create a pipe symbol okay now we have fully structured our HTML5 login form with social media buttons. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to style this form using CSS3. And I'll also show you how to include Font Awesome library into your document and then incorporate Font Awesome icons into your buttons. Okay. For now, I'm going to show you its preview in our browser. So let's open this file into your browser and see its preview and how it looks like. So here I am in my browser and you can see that here. This is the simple structure for our HTML form. And in the next video, I'm going to show you how to style this form using CSS3. So for now, what you can do, like this video if you like it and subscribe to my channel to watch how to style this form. Okay. And get much more videos like these ones. Okay. Thank you for now. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.